this is the plaintiff, Rachel Gutierrez. She says the defendant's mean old pit bull broke through his fence and ripped her dog out of her arms and attacked him. Her dog almost died at the vets. He had to have extensive surgery, and when she contacted the defendant about payment, he balked. Obviously, the guy is not a good neighbor, and she has no choice but to take him to court today to recover the $2,500 she's owed. This is the defendant, Richard Jordan. He says he and his wife rented an apartment, and there's another woman in the basement with an apartment, and the pit bull is hers, not theirs. The plaintiff's trying to blame him for the attack on her dog. He tried to show the plaintiff the paperwork proving he doesn't own the dog, but all the crazy plaintiff kept shouting at him was dog killer. He's accused of letting his dog get away. All parties, please use your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says her neighbor's pit bull broke through a fence and nearly killed her terrier as it was in her arms. But the defendant says he doesn't even own the dog. It's the case of terrier terror. Thank you, Douglas. You're Rachel welcome. Gutierrez, you are suing Richard Jordan for $2,500 in vet bills that your dog sustained when, according to you, his dog escaped and attacked your dog. Correct. Okay, what happened? All right, so me and my son and my dog, we decided to go for a walk down the alley. My, my son was on his bike. We were walking by. The dog suddenly became agitated. Which and dog? The pit bull. And before I knew it, the, the, the dog burst through the fence. The fence was How not secure. How did the dog burst through the fence? It wasn't secure. Like, it was a matter of seconds. The dog was pushing and pushing, and you could just get through. You know, like, it was a matter of seconds. Like, I, there wasn't a lock or anything. Did you ever go back and take a look at it? Um, no, because okay. I was scared. All right. The dog is still there. Okay. You know? But I took a picture a few days later, and they put a tire up against the fence, I guess. Oh, let's to... see that. Yeah, I'll show you. Here, th this is the alley where it happened. Okay, that's the spot, ma'am. Yeah, that okay. where the tire is, that's, I'm pretty sure that's where the, the dog came out of. Ooh. All right, so the tire is holding back. The tire wasn't there when the attack happened, though. There was right. nothing there. All right, so the dog comes out, and what does the pit bull do? Well, I saw, I, like, I, I, I thought it was going to happen, like, so I picked up my dog, because I, he was going right for my dog, and he ripped my dog out of my hands. What kind of, uh, of dog do you have? Boston Terrier. I have Terrier. a Boston Terrier. And yeah. what, ha what, do you have a picture of the dog? Yeah, I have many does pictures. It, the dog ends up surviving, right? Yeah, I mean, okay. but he needed a lot That's of good. care. Like, he, he, I had to miss time from work. Okay, you so know. talk to me and tell me then what happens. Um, well, I, I, right after the attack happened, I screamed for help. No one came out to help. We live blocks from the police station. So the police came because someone flagged them down. And um, the police come, they pepper spray the dog, that does nothing, and then the police had to taser the dog. And I have a police report. And um, once, the, once the dog was tasered, then he released, and then he kind of ran away. You know, and Where I did the dog go? I, I mean, I don't know. Okay. He came back, though, because I have a police report, and it says that he, the owners refused to, re, to give up the dog, to relinquish it to the Okay, act. so let me see the police report. Yeah, I'll show you everything. Were you present when this happened? No, Your Honor. Where were you? I was in the hospital. I had cancer. I got diagnosed of uh, cancer, and I was in the hospital at the time. You know that in your answer to the complaint, you said you were in the hospital for a slight heart attack. Right. I was in the hospital twice. I was in no, the hospital well, twice. Well, we're asking about this case and this day. Where were you? Were you there for cancer? Were you there for a heart attack? Do you have cancer? Well, on her incident? Yeah. I never, I don't, I don't know her. I've never seen her before a day in my life. I on my understand, block. but did anybody ever tell you that this happened? Did you hear about this, that this had happened? I heard you... about it when I was in the hospital. Right. What were you in the hospital for? I had cancer and I had a, I had a stroke. Do you have any paperwork from the hospital? No, I just had a paperwork for the dog. It's not my dog. Okay. Oh, the Inspector Clouseau defense. All right. <laughs> it's not your dog. What happened? I was Whose told... dog is it? It's the lady that lives in the back of me, because I live in the front. And the lady that owns the dog lives in the back of the house. And when she came... Are you, are you a tenant or, or, or do you own the place? I'm a tenant. Okay. And are you testifying to me under oath today that she's a separate tenant? Yes. She doesn't live with you guys? No, she moved do you, out. Are you moral support or are you... Do you moral support. But do you... Support what's your name? Marion. Are you the one that talked to the police that day? Mm, yeah. Stand up. You're not moral support. You're a witness. <laughs> you kidding me? If you weren't there, I'm curious about something. She has, and it's not your dog. Mm -hmm. And according to you, the woman whose dog it is, is mm -hmm. where? 
She don't live in the house. She don't live in the back of the house anymore. And sh she is a separate tenant that you rented to or that your landlord rented? Landlord. Rented? Do you have a lease that would show what you're saying, that she's separate? Um, only thing they told me to bring was the uh, the paperwork for the dog and the proof that the dog is not mine. Okay. And it's, I got it from, they, she purchased the dog from the SPCA. Okay, now I do see that someone by the name of Catherine bought the dog from the, you know, or purchased, they, adopted, um, adopted the dog, it. adopted the dog from, from the ASPCA. What I don't know is whether you live with her and she's part of, of the people who live there or not. And I do see something really weird, which is, why, were you there when this happened? What, when did it happen? I'm confused. Did you ever see the pit bull attack somebody? No. I don't know what was going on. I just came in from the hospital and they was at the door talking about some dog attacked somebody. So I was really confused because I had just came in. Are you trying to explain why you gave his name as the owner of the dog? Because you know you gave his name as the owner of the dog, right? I didn't give his name on the dog. I gave them a paper with her name on it, the owner of the no, dog. You didn't, I never you didn't have that paper when the police were knocking on your door. That's a paper you got because you got sued. I, so, no, you didn't give them that paper when you got to listen, the Listen, I was on the phone with him, and I gave the phone. He, he talked to the cops himself. That's how he knows he's in the hospital. I gave him, he gave him his own name and stuff. And he said, go and see if you find her papers. And I did. And I gave why to him, he you never have returned her papers? it to me. I didn't have nothing. He said to look in the drawer and see if you see why her papers. Did, why were her papers in the drawer? No, answer. I'm not. I want you to answer. I have no idea. I'm just going by a hill. I was on the phone with Who's him. Who's Catherine? And I expect Who's Catherine? Her. I don't know. Is Catherine related to you? She's a friend of mine's. Did Catherine, if Catherine knows you're being sued, why didn't Catherine step up here? Catherine moved out the house. Can I explain, Yana? Yeah, tell me why okay. Catherine isn't here right. then. When, I signed, when we signed the lease, me and no, her no, signed... No, 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 you're front and center. Stay right where you are. Me and her signed the lease at the same time, okay? Okay. Me and my wife were separated at the time when I purchased this house, okay? Now, when... Wait, was Catherine a girlfriend? No. Oh, go ahead, sit down. You don't have to sit through this. You don't have to, st <laughs> you don't have to stand through this, honey. Sit down. <laughs> Okay, you say no, and she says yes, and uh, I'm, I'm kind She's, of... My wife was going to say that. When me and my wife were separated, I moved Catherine in the house because she ain't had nowhere to go. Me and her, we never... It wasn't no sex relationship. It was a relationship, but it wasn't never no sex relationship because she knew I was married. Me and my wife got back together. Then me, my kids moved in. I got five girls, okay? Catherine, she, she never stayed upstairs. She always stayed downstairs in the back of the house, okay? Now, so she's not started, a separate tenant. No, she got her own interests. She can't come through my front. We got our own interests and it's our own interests in How the back. How are you going to tolerate that she's still down there? If you have... <laughs> Can I come, on, come on back up. Come back up. That's I didn't hear you, but I, I, didn't hear you, but I want to hear you. Come back up a second. <coughs> what was it you said? She wasn't there when I got there. Okay. So would you talk to her? Did you know her? I mean, I seen her when she came with the cops. Yeah. Show me the vet bills. Catherine moved out and who kept the dog? Dog gone. <laughs> That's not true. I saw the dog there yet, the other day. Did you take the a picture? The dog's still there. Do you I, have a date I, stamp? I didn't, I didn't have to take a picture, but okay. I was doing my lawn in the back, and the dog was still there. I have I um, several out? bills. Yeah, can um, you say something truthful, though? Are pit bulls more aggressive than the average breed? Absolutely. Why do you say? Uh, every time I've seen a pit bull is generally attacking somebody. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, they're bred for aggression. They've been bred for aggression. So even if it's a nice dog, like, they're predisposed to it. Some people say it's the owners. What do you say? I say it's uh, the dog because I've seen Rockwilders react pretty viciously, too. But, you know, it, it is the owner somewhat because it's the character. The dog takes the care. How the dog grows up. Yeah, got your point. Going inside the courtroom. I was in a hospital with the cops. When, when it happened, my wife called me at the hospital. You know your wife gave them your name No, as the I owner. gave the officer my name. Why? He asked if it's not, was... if you're, then why wouldn't the officer write down that Catherine is the owner? See, Catherine gets this dog while you guys are separate and you and Catherine are living together. That's a, it sounds like what happened. Now all of a sudden it's Catherine's dog, Catherine can't be found, Catherine moved, I have no contact with Catherine, and you say you saw the dog there. I'm having a little bit of difficulty. Let me see your vet bills. Well, I had to put it on credit card because I didn't have $2,000, you know, to put up front and my dog what, was going to What die. were the damages to the dog? What did the well, pit bull do? Well, the dog, when he ripped 
the pit bull, when he ripped the dog, my dog out of my hands, he grabbed him from the back. So all his, all his um, wounds and everything was on, all on his back, his butt, his anus area. Oh. So he had to have surgery. To, and luckily, you know, he, nothing was torn. So that made it a little easier. But, you know, he was suffering and he had to have tubes in for a week because the, the bites were so deep. I stayed home from work because he was like intensive care. The dog needed a lot of care. You know, I spent a lot more money than I'm asking for. I just want the vet bills paid because I think that's at least fair. What was the total of the vet bills and what was the total of the interest? The total of the vet um, bills appears to be two, uh, 2073? Yes. And then I had to take him back for a follow-up appointment. And then I had to take him again because something was wrong with his eye and we were concerned because of the whole incident. What is the eye? Well, uh, there better be some evidence the, that the eye has something to do with well, the they, anus. They, well, the thing is, the dog was on the ground, on the concrete, and he was being Okay, ripped, so I yeah. just need some the evidence that the eye had something to do with the anus, because it's a different area of the body of the dog. Um, discharge instructions say he was evaluated for evaluation of his eye. Yes. On examination, he was bright and alert with normal vitals. His heart and lungs sounded normal. His bite wounds were well healed. There was some scleral pigmentation and changes to the lens in the left eye, but no evidence of inflammation. We checked everything. Everything was fine. Okay. I need to see some evidence to link that to the bite. I mean, I, I felt I got you. If it's all you got, it's all you got. But yeah. you got me, right? You understand yeah. what I'm saying? I know. I understand. Right. Okay. I was under the impression when I read uh, the notes on this case that this was a completely separate tenant having absolutely nothing to do with you. The fact that the police report has only you and no Catherine listed, makes me go, hmm. I just got and then these the papers fact today. that she is able oh to have a God, paper man. with the, the adoption God. record makes oh me God. say, hmm, even further. Oh I think it's your dog. Yeah, get out. Yeah. Get out. Don't be disrespectful to me. Be disrespectful outside. It's so their dog. It's his and Catherine's dog. And then Catherine still lives there. I don't want to say in front of her because she was kind of nice and angry. Okay, but it's so their dog. It's a, it's a one big happy family dog. Basically. All right. I'm finding in your favor in the amount of the vet bills, not the vet bill with the eye, just because I, I need another link. You know what? I'm going to give you a couple of days <laughs> to send me that, to show me proof, a letter from that vet saying that the eye was related to the bite. Okay. So I'm going to hold that one in advance, and you will get the two thirty-five eighty-four in interest. Because why should you have to pay that? So right now I'm ordering two thousand three hundred and sixty-three dollars and eighty-four cents, and I'm going to how, how long do you think you need to get something from the doctor? Um, I will give you a week. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Thank you so much. Well, the defendant has flown the coop. He did not want to talk. That's okay with me. <laughs> the plaintiff is on her way out of the courtroom. Well, you, you're getting $2,300, a little bit more than that, and you may get more if you can provide more evidence. I will. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. I'm happy. Um, some kind of justice was served. Um, I didn't think well, I was... Well, I mean, obviously, it was a very traumatic experience I'm for you. I'm scared to walk my dog. I don't blame you, and I wouldn't do it either if I were you. Not in that area. And you think the, uh, the pit bull's still there? It's there. You I saw, saw it the other day. All yeah. right. Well, look, good luck to you. Thank okay? you so much. Thank you very much. You must Thank sign a few documents. Harvey, what do you think? Uh, so, Doug, the uh, plaintiff uh, actually ended up providing no evidence that the dog's eye injury was the result of the attack.